to IQ. Oh, holy what? What, what, what? We finally put our Epic Employee Gaming Lounge back together, but there's a key thing missing. Check this out. We got our PlayStation, our Xbox, our Switch. We've even got an Nvidia Shield. Where's the freaking gaming PC to power the VR experience? No problem. We know how to build gaming PCs, or at least some of us do. To help me out today, I brought along my one and only wife, who, to my knowledge, has never actually built a water-cooled computer oh. before. Yeah, no, not a water-cooled one. Yeah. I built one for, it took me four hours. We don't have four hours, <laughs> so let's see what we can do. And let's see if I can tell you about our sponsor. The VoltaSpark 60 watt braided charging cable features a snag safe magnetic connection tip for both trip protection and for swapping between devices. And for even faster charging, you can check out their VoltaSpark 100 watt at the link below. There's a number of ways we can go about this. What? You look nervous. Oh, well, okay. If I'm building it myself, then I'm very nervous. You're going to do most of it, but I'm going to be here to help you. Okay. Uh, and not here to help you in a like screaming, why are you doing it wrong from the other room kind of way. So okay. what do you want to start with? Do you want to start with the water cooling or the computer hardware? I feel like there's a right answer and you're testing me. It, it, we start with the motherboard, don't we? I learned from last time, okay? I did. Wow. That's pretty good. <laughs> We've gone with a Crosshair 8 Dark Hero, and the main reason for that is that, well, this is a top of the line rig and we are making no compromises whatsoever. Totally unlike us, I know. Hold on, you can't put it on yet because we got to see if there's any accessories that we need. No, we need the stickers. You got to keep those. Yeah, we can keep them in here. Yeah. For our CPU, we've gone with a Ryzen 9 5900X, and while that's not technically the highest end in AMD's lineup. That would be the 16 core 5950X. 12 cores is lots for gaming. And in terms of gaming performance, it is on par with its more expensive cousin. So this is more than enough. Okay. Are you gonna you to put it in at some point? Well, I, I, sorry. <laughs> it's fine. You know that that will just fall out of there, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, but okay. it didn't. It has pins on it. This is AMD. Oh, yes. Okay, I know. I know there's more that's of them fine. downstairs. I was just waiting for you to finish talking. I thought I had to wait. I didn't know I could just keep going. Golden triangle. See? Wow, have you been studying? No, I did that part right the last time. I even helped somebody with that part last time. We've gone with 3600 megahertz CL14 dims from G-Skill. These are part of their Trident ZRGB series, so they're gonna look freaking awesome. And this is pretty much best case scenario in terms of performance memory for AMD. Oh, those are a tight fit. That's what she said. I'm gonna take every opportunity today. Now, last time I made the mistake of trying to put the cooler on. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do the I don't remember what these are called. I just call them SSDs. But I know I know that that's not what they're called. Really? What, what would they be called? Well, I don't know. I thought there's a different name for the tiny ones. Oh, yes. It is an SSD. This okay. is just an NVMe M.2 SSD. Oh. So yeah, you were 100% correct. That's why I was sitting here going like, I don't know what these are called, so I'm going to call it an SSD. I don't know, gumstick maybe? Uh, <laughs> can you do that? Okay, I mean, well, you can do anything you want. Actually, don't tell me, but I don't actually see where this goes. So is this a test or are we actually working together on this? Uh, I don't know, I hadn't really decided. Okay, so I think... We're not gonna put that there. What? You're 100% right that it fits, but there's actually a primary and a secondary slot on this board. And this right here is an eight terabyte QLC SSD from Sabrin. It's not really that fast, but it's got a ton of capacity. So this is gonna be our bulk storage drive. We're gonna put it in our secondary slot, which oh. is under here. I thought you said we were building the best PC ever. Well, okay. I made a small compromise on the boot drive. Wait, what, what are you doing? What's up? Oh, uh, we what? need those screws. We gotta screw oh. in the drives. Okay, I thought the plate screwed that in. I had oriented it a certain way and then you picked it up and gave it to me and now I don't remember which way it goes. That's okay. Text is always your best clue. If there's text on something, then put it right side up. Okay. Did, did you even check for the text? Yeah, I did. It says M.2 oh. and also the pattern goes I this think way. it actually says 2.w. No, what? No, stop it. <laughs> did, should we put Are you mad about something? She always cleans when she's mad. <sighs> no. <laughs> Annoyed maybe. Here, 
You clean, you put that away. I'm guessing this is a water block? Ah, uh, yes, but it's been pre-installed by Jake for us. Thank you, Jake. Actually, this is a super cool block. We did a video about this recently. Uh, EK released a, a two-part block. So this is for an RTX 3090, which has the GPU and memory on the front, and then also has memory on the back of the card. So this two-piece block cools both the front and the back of the card, and we found a real difference in temperatures with this implementation. It also looks fantastic. This is like, I don't know if you noticed, but the theme of the build is all matte black. Yeah, I did notice. Except for RGB. RGB is okay too. Should we put the motherboard in the case? Yeah, we could do that. Okay, I'm gonna move it. This feels like ROG rig reboot. What? I mean, was, we've had people do so well at ROG rig reboot, we ended up hiring them. And if you work hard, someday we might hire you too. Oh my gosh, wow, okay. Wait, who's technically the boss of who? Oh, oh, it's complicated. I think, I think it's complicated depending on who you ask. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put this over here. The 5000X from Corsair's biggest standout feature is just that everything is like really well thought out. So cooling, cable management, the amount of hardware it can fit. I've um, never seen these things before. Yeah, li included little cable ties, included fan hub, included RGB hub. Just everything is ready to go. If you're looking for just kind of the simplest case to build in, if you're getting kind of all standard components and you just want to throw it together, it's a really good choice. Oh no. Yeah, the chief troll office officer of LTTstore.com just arrived with some new mouse pad samples. Oh, no. oh that's unfortunate. Oh, man. Um, wow. Needs some DLSS. <laughs> <laughs> Are we actually making these? I think, I think the no audience one, would like us to make them. No one is going to buy that. Look at it. I mean, tell Yvonne she's wrong in the comments, I guess. <laughs> Rude. Don't. <laughs> I am figuring it out. Okay, looks like it. Wait. Wet. Do you, well, I, do you want me to okay, tell you? Okay, yes, yes, yes. Okay, what all right, you gotta take this peel off now, otherwise you can't get it off. Oh, okay. Okay, there okay. we go. All right, so. Uh, got the nipple coming through the hole, and that means all of them are lined up. Yeah, you're good. I haven't done water cooling before, but I'm guessing this is the reservoir, mm -hmm. but I don't know why there's two of them. Me neither. Okay, well, I guess we'll figure that out. That's GPU block. Wait, is this another reservoir? Mm, yep. Why do we, sorry. Why do we have three reservoirs? Why are there three radiators? Jake works in mysterious ways sometimes. Um, that seems like overkill. In this case, because we want something that is quiet optimized, we want something that doesn't have super, super dense fins. The biggest difference is that the XC is quite a bit thicker. So, yeah, if we're stuck with just one, thicker is gonna be better. We definitely can't put one of these thick boys on the top. <laughs> just not enough room. Hmm. Yeah, that's not gonna fit in there either. We'll have to make some adjustments. Wait, what are you doing? You're supposed to be teaching me how to do stuff. Oh, uh, okay. Go ahead and take that out. It's stuck somewhere? Well, I don't know. I was trying to figure that out and then you told me I wasn't allowed. Okay, well move then. I actually don't know what it's doing. There we go. Okay. I don't actually know if that should come out the bottom or the top, but I'm assuming if I were to go based on what he said about text, that being able to read that is a good thing, right? Okay, no, come back, back. <laughs> I don't want to be here all day. <laughs> okay, does it go in this way? Uh, no, we should go the other way, probably. Of course, this is the part in the build where we decide whether we want to be a David. What's a David? A David is someone who installs fans in a push configuration on the outside of their case into their radiator. Davids end up with a big bunch of cat hair and dog hair built up on their radiator, and then their good friend Linus, who they definitely don't only hang out with because Linus gives them a free computer and pays him money, uh, has to come and clean all the hair out of the radiator, okay? So, Got it. if we don't want to be a David, we move our fans <laughs> to the other side of the rad, which makes it a lot easier to clean. I'm actually gonna have you pivot and work on installing the CPU block. Okay. That's a fun one. That's a sexy CPU block. It's EK Velocity, baby. 
You know what, I'm feeling fancy today. I'm gonna put in four screws per fan. What? I know, right? Okay. L look, this is, this, is for, this is for my staff, okay? This is for my staff to enjoy VR games. It has to be built properly. We never put the screws in the motherboard to hold it to the case. We never? You took the case from me. I did overlook that. <laughs> okay. Sorry. But I'm putting all the screws in the radiator. <laughs> Not content to order fittings like a normal person, Jake decided to order them by the pound for this build. What? Man, these quantum torque fittings from EK are freaking gorgeous. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I have no context for that. I don't know what other fittings are. Now I like. know how you feel when you show me like some, I don't know, uh, cross-stitching thing or something. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, neat, you know? Oh, well, wait, what the heck is going on over here? What? There was two different ones, so I'm just going to test and see. Ah, okay. Uh, it was, uh, t was a good idea. Uh, unfortunately, in order for your test to work, you would have had to put them in the proper way. Oh. Yeah, right side up would be nice. I but, get this. <laughs> this way fits. She's planting. Uh, she's planting mounting post trees. Does it come with a back plate? Mm, I, t I thought I took everything out. Oh. Okay. Well, it was on the bottom. Then this one's not thick enough, or like not long enough. Sorry. Wait, so it what? Must, it must be this one. Okay. Hold on a minute. This goes here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then this goes here. Yeah. So I said we have to use the longer one because the other one was too short. I just said that. Oh. Well, then what's the problem? There wasn't. You just assumed I was doing it wrong. <laughs> I, no, I just, um... See, I mean, you even went and tested it after. <laughs> Go away. I'm <laughs> just checking. I might throw on a touch more. Really? Yeah. I thought it was supposed to be a grain of rice. That's bigger than a grain of rice. Yeah, this is a bigger CPU than Intel. This one, you have to actually make sure the thermal compound does cover the entire area. Yeah, that's fine. Are you just supposed to know that kind of stuff? No, you're supposed to watch Tech Tips videos. Where do I find Tech Tips videos? <laughs> LTTstore.com. Do you actually talk wait, about wait. that stuff in your videos, though? Because from all the ones I've seen, I don't think I've heard you talk about that. Um, I mean, I am right now. This will be a video. Mm -hmm. You just got to watch all the videos. Wow. Every video has 3% of the Tech Tips you need. AIO pump. It's not an AIO, but could it go in there? Uh, I'm gonna go with a no, Captain. Let's uh, let's do one. Let's do one of your favorite phrases. Let's make sure we're thinking critically. What? Uh, does anything here need its speed controlled? No, but it needs power. Okay, but what do you think this is for? Lights. There we go. Okay. Yeah, see? She totally knows all the principles, just hasn't like done it before. Uh, we're clearly not going to be able to use the full-size tube, so I'm glad we have the little one. The pump is really ugly. And the reservoir. The whole thing. Yeah, um, thank you. That's very constructive. It kind of is what it is. There's an RGB accent here, 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 and there'll be one on the GPU. But I thought it's supposed to be matte black everything. That's not matte black. Yeah. We, we can might sharpie change it. it out. <laughs> Or use the stickers. Okay, why don't we find you something to do? Hold on a second, what do you mean the tubing is ugly? It's ugly. No, this is like professional looking. Well, it's clean. Okay, it's not clean, look at it, it's well, dirty. No, I know it's dirty, no, no, but oh, I don't mean clean in that sense. I mean clean looking and you can clean No, it, it just looks like tubing. I don't even. Also, sometimes I feel like the point of water cooling a system is so that you can see the water and it looks cool, but now you're just hiding it all. Yeah, it's because we're like too cool to care about seeing the water. You can see it in the reservoir. Oh uh, yeah, but the reservoir is ugly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I don't actually know which power things we need. Okay. So I got the big one. That's good. You heard it here. This is the EVGA big one. Does that not look awesome, though? Oh, uh, it's okay. It's kind of covering the memory. Yep. That's not the point. The, po the point is it's clean. We'll see. We'll see when it's done. I think it looks really good. Basically, an attack on this tubing is an attack on me personally. <laughs> well, that's okay. I think, okay, maybe- What do you mean, that's okay? You don't get to decide if that's okay. I'm telling you it's not okay. Are you ready for the power supply or no? Um, 
What do you mean, am I ready for the power supply? Go ahead and put the power supply in. <laughs> thought you were building this computer. Well, you're kind of in the way. If you can sew a quilt, you can plug in a power supply. Okay, can I have the 24 pin? Do my fingers fit in here okay? Oh. Go away. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> can you pass me front panel connectors? From the power supply? Uh, no. Through this hole. Through what hole? You're in the wrong hole. Don't say it, don't say it. Oh, okay, whoa, hold what, on. What, what, what? Okay, no, no, you can't just, uh, you can't just jam this one in there. Uh, you'll end up bending the pins. Uh, oh shoot. I think they're already bent. Oh crap. Maybe we it's your fault, but I don't blame you. Maybe we should have How plugged that? that in before we put it in the motherboard. Cause it's really hard to, what? I Th blame you, you're Th the teacher. Thanks you miss, miss shoulda, woulda, coulda. Um, all right, oh crap. Oh crap balls. Okay. I'm going to take the motherboard out, bend the pins back, and then I'm going to put this connector in without bending them. Watch me. So basically, oh wait, oh yeah, okay. There's supposed to be one pin missing in the corner here, so that's fine. So it's just this one right here that got a little, a eh, little off course. You know, if you know what I mean. Actually, okay, no, it's not just this one. This one's just a touch out of alignment and this one needs to go this way. And then mm -hmm. performing a feat, okay? I don't need all your judgment eyes on the back of my neck here. This is doable. I think these pins are just more mangled than I thought. Because no, this is, I think it's just really hard to get leverage. aligned. But no, I can put all the leverage in the world I want. You want me to mash these pins down? I'll do it right now. Okay, hold on. Okay, okay, go away. Go away. I will perform the feat later. Go plug in more fans. This is truly the worst connector of all time, but there we go. It's in which proves that the pins are all in the right spot. Hold on, hold on, no, 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 no. I'm not ready, I'm not ready to perform the feet yet. Okay. Okay, are you gonna come watch my feet? I'm watching. My feet are down there. <laughs> got it, got, got, get it? <laughs> got her. <laughs> That's my feet. See that? Mm -hmm. That's fine, wait, don't tie that one down because we still need to do the power first. I know a thing or two about being tied down, if you know what I mean. <laughs> no, Lana, it's a don't, explain. <laughs> I'm not a brave enough man for that. <laughs> Tubing is in the way. Oh, crap. Uh, hold on. <laughs> well, hold on, let's see, does it fit? Well, well, I mean, you're not even trying. Come on, oh. j j jam it. <laughs> I don't wanna break anything. No, I, I don't uh, think we should force that. And then I just pull it out. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, what? Well, like, you wanna, Kind of, you want to kind of wiggle wobble it back and forth. That's what I was doing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Collar. Right. Yep. That's, I'm not even judging you. That's, everyone's done it a hundred times. <laughs> you're always judging. No. Say that's... you're not, but you always judge. No, I wasn't, I wasn't judging that. Oh, okay, I was judging it, but I was judging that it's okay. Is this a Wi-Fi card? Um, sort of. That's not what we're using it for though. We're using it as a wireless interface for the Vive uh, VR headset. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it runs completely wirelessly on this machine. Small update, we are totally gonna sacrifice performance for aesthetics. These Dominator Pros are gonna look way, way better in here. Trident ZRGB, CL14, fast, great memory. Um, it just looks totally out of place in here, so. Yep, here we go. I love how you instinctively put these on this side of the tubing instead of around the tubing. That would look really bad. I knew I married her for a reason. You gotta get like a black piece of tape for the back of this Wi-Fi thing or something. Well, that's what the stickers are for. But what, wait, well, oh, well hold on just a minute. Here. Actually, that could kind of work. I mean, we're not gonna try and cut it to size, we're just gonna YOLO it? No, I'm measuring, but also. You're measuring. Look, it's almost exactly the right size. That's oh, why right. I picked it. Here you go. Wait, is it lined up right? Are you gonna line it up right? I am working on it. I'm just bugging you. That's not bad. Not bad, all right. It's definitely better than it was. Yeah, or if we cut a sliver of it, we Wait, could do why? this part right here. Why do I ever not have faith in this woman again? I don't know. And that is why the cable management doesn't matter on this case. Uh, wait though, oh, what? we can't close it up entirely until we've already powered it on. I am not superstitious, 
but it's extremely bad GBs to put all the panels on a computer before you have powered it on. Because it's just like Murphy's Law, right? What can go wrong will. Is that Murphy's Law? Yeah, sure. Something, something like that. But whatever. The point is, when it is the most possible work to undo things, that's when it will fail. Hey, right. were you going to power on the computer because we didn't put in the water? Uh, no. Obviously. But what about this person who left a dongle in this uh, keyboard? <gasps> yeah, way to go. That's for a G Pro wireless. So my mistake is much smaller. But because I um, was dumb and didn't screw this in, it's actually really good and easy to fill this. We're just gonna kind of, right? Okay, and then we'll just kind of, we'll put that back in later. Sure. Uh, do you need help with that? No. Yeah, it's to keep children out. Okay. Because they don't have the upper body strength to you know, casually, easily open it like this. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, holy <laughs> What the f**k just? What? What happened? Something shorted. That right there just totally blew. I'm not 100% sure. It looks like a small, it's, it's burned up enough that it's hard to tell if it's a cap or something else. No, 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 we didn't spill anything. Does that mean it's dead? Oh yeah, probably. Oh. Seriously? Uh, yeah, seriously. Me four pins in right, everything. There's nothing to really, there's nothing to really bung up about it. Should we power it on again? I vote yes. Where's the fire extinguisher? You know how to use one of these? Yeah. Am I doing it? Yeah, just make sure you look down the barrel while you pull the trigger so you can make sure it, Okay, ready? Oh well, no, I need that. Wait, oh, you, need you, more? you took it away. Sorry, uh, I thought you were just seeing if oh! it was... I thought you were just checking if it was turning on okay. It fired up. Uh, all the rams detected. Um, <laughs> interesting. Wait, you put the side panel on without me? That's the most fun part. Oh, sorry. I did, I took the peels off. And now you're putting your fingerprints all over the glass. The peel was actually Lady. on the inside instead of the outside, which is kind of weird. That doesn't change that you're putting your fingers all well, over the glass. I'm holding it in so it doesn't fall out while I screw it on. Check this out. It's like actually a tasteful amount of RGB. I like it. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. It's totally tasteful. That is a lot of RGB. Have you ever tried wireless VR? No, I haven't. You should give it a shot. Did we ever acknowledge on camera that this just like works now? And I even tried that fan port that was right there and it works too. I don't know, I don't know, it seems fine, but it had fire on it. Wow, that is uh, about as high performance as it gets. 2.4, 2.6, like two and a half millisecond frame times. What does that even work out to? A lot of crab rave? Yeah, uh, I don't think you're very good at crab rave. I would try, I mean, you could try crab rave if you want. We should put Yvonne in Arizona Sunshine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna try Arizona Sunshine. Oh, is it scary? I thought that was the scary one. Uh, no, it's not scary. Are you lying? Yeah. It, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. It'll be fun. They're not scary zombies. They're more like friendly zombies. Uh huh. This okay. is a game that's really nice to not have a tether, because you can turn around as much as you want. Uh, no, I don't like this game. I don't like this game. <laughs> Why is he not dead? No, I don't want to play. <laughs> <laughs> Can you turn it up? <laughs> that, was, that was a lot faster than I thought. Oh no. It's too real. It's a little more immersive. I don't really like this game. <laughs> That's what much. I thought. See, I actually <laughs> listen when you talk to me. That's it. That's our new VR setup. Uh, massive thank you to everyone who sent parts for it, especially EVGA. Like I said, those GPUs, not easy to get your hands on. And I'm looking forward to us all getting our shots so we can actually hang out in the bloody lounge. 
just like I'm looking forward to telling you about our sponsor. Manscaped just launched their fourth generation trimmer, the Lawnmower 4.0. It offers ceramic blades with their skin safe technology, which reduces nicks and cuts and can be easily replaced with a fresh blade and has a new wireless charging system that removes the need to bring cables with you. And it's compatible with most Qi charging pads. It's cordless and waterproof, gets 90 minutes of use on a full charge and includes four different trimmer blades. So get 20% off plus free international shipping by using promo code tech at the link in the video description. If you guys enjoyed this video, maybe check out our previous lounge series where we all worked together to build 12 gaming machines. Is it 12? Yeah, yeah 12 gaming machines. Wow, that was an ordeal. A lot of the people building them didn't know how to build computers.